Everybody assumes that scooter drivers are at fault for their crashes. That's just not true. Hi, I'm Chris Jacobs with the law firm of Calvison Knackman. I'm a senior litigation attorney here litigating cases in state and federal courts. A common misconception is that scooters that aren't as fast as cars but drive on the same roads with higher speed limits have to be at fault for being struck from behind. That's simply not the truth in Virginia or in many states around the country. Let me give you an example. A driver strikes a scooter from behind on a 45 mile an hour road. The scooter can only go 25 miles an hour. Why is that driver at fault for hitting that scooter? That driver's at fault because there's no right for other drivers to smash into the back of slower moving vehicles that are on the right side of the roadway. We all have to share the road. Scooter drivers have just the same rights as everyone else. But when they're injured by other drivers, their injuries are far more serious than any other type of injuries. So why am I telling you this? You may have a loved one, a friend, or yourself who is injured riding on a scooter driving a scooter or driving a motorcycle. And you probably have questions. I'm here to answer those questions. Call me, Chris Jacobs, a senior litigation attorney at the law firm at Calvison Nachman. Call me at 888-487-8546. Thank you for watching.